Help wanted. What do we need? Um, I can't speak for all the operations in Okasak, Latin America. Um, basically what I am offering here is what we are looking for in the Philippines. We are looking to establish a team or group of individuals, preferably retired or semi-retired, who believe that we can eradicate poverty, that we can change the world and leave it a better place. Um, people with a realistic approach to introducing viable change that's not going to disrupt the current system and ultimately be shut down. So the, the overall concept is we need to build commercial operations. We need to build businesses and we need to build these in such a way that they are profitable. Um, they will be owned by the foundation, not by us as individuals. We will serve on the board of directors. We will have um, some say in the control and operations of the, the commercial ventures. But the idea is to, to generate um, a positive return and to reinvest that return into the foundation through the foundation, not into the foundation, but through the foundation into um, humanitarian and other projects that are designed to assist in the eradication of poverty while at the same time addressing the current symptoms that people are, are facing. Um, we can't just take a house, our family that's been homeless for multiple generations and dump them into a house and expect them to become productive and contributing members of society paying taxes on an annual basis. It's, it's not a, a realistic approach, but by introducing the commercial corporations, we can ensure that they, we can ensure the economic sustainability of the foundation. We can provide paid training and op, um, job opportunities to the marginalized people. Um, statistically, we should be able to employ 12 to 15 percent of all commercial operations utilizing people from among the marginalized citizens and through that we can do that with with a minimum disrupt a minimal disruption to operations and productive capabilities and at the same time we take the other proceeds and we utilize that for commercial expansion which again increases the income we have going into humanitarian projects allowing us to build and establish schools first um, to provide education. The, the proceeds from the commercial operations will be strategically invested and funds, individual funds set up. So if we design a school for people, um, we determine how, what the capacity of the school is, what the annual costs are, and we establish investment accounts that will provide that much in return for the school for each year. And by doing that, we can ensure that the school is fully funded for the year and that the marginalized people in the community can attend school free of charge. Um, the schools, in accordance with Philippine law, will need to be kept available for paid students as well. But again, we can, we can offer scholarships and other opportunities for marginalized citizens. Um, and if we can find the people to put the corporation together. The project designers here, um, but at, at present we're effectively struggling alone. There's been major issues with um, some of our partners in the Philippines before. So um, while we're not totally on our own, we are in large part separate and um, and dependent upon ourselves to make the Philippines a better place. But it is not only possible, it's very likely if we can put together the right people that we can fully eradicate poverty in the Philippines and we can provide a working model that serves as a global example for the eradication of poverty around the world. So if you're retired, semi-retired, otherwise capable of volunteering some time and you have experience in the commercial and or not-for-profit realm, we would definitely love to hear from you. So if you're looking um, to leave your mark on the world and leave the world a better place for our children and our posterity, we would really love to hear from you. Um, if you're just listening to this as part of Opus Act, please like and subscribe, and we will try and get more content out soon. Thank you.